Thomas the tank engine wouldn't stop being a nuisance. Night after night, he kept the other engines awake. I'm tired of pushing coaches. I want to see the world. The other engines didn't take much notice, for Thomas was a little engine with a long tongue. But one night, Edward came to the shed. He was a kind little engine and felt sorry for Thomas. I've got some freight cars to take home tomorrow. If you take them instead of me, I'll push coaches in the yard. Thank you, said Thomas. That would be nice. Next morning, Edward and Thomas asked their drivers, and when they said yes, Thomas ran off happily to find freight cars. Now, the freight cars are silly and noisy. They talk a lot and don't attend to what they are doing. And I'm sorry to say, they play tricks on an engine who is not used to them. Edward knew all about the freight cars. He warned Thomas to be careful, but Thomas was too excited to listen. The shutter fastened the coupling, and when the signal dropped, Thomas was ready. The conductor blew his whistle. Beep, beep, answered Thomas and started off. But the freight cars weren't ready. Oh, oh, they screamed. Wait, Thomas, wait. But Thomas wouldn't wait. Come on, come on, he puffed. All right, don't fuss. All right, don't fuss, grumbled the cars. Thomas began going faster and faster. Whish, he whistled as he rushed through Henry's tunnel. useful 